inflation, RPI, and CPI. Inflation measures how much more expensive a set of goods and services has become over a certain period, usually a year. It represents the change in the price of goods and services we buy. The annual rate of inflation shows how much higher or lower prices are compared with the same month a year earlier. It indicates changes to our cost of living. This graph shows the level of inflation in the UK between 1960 and 2022. You can see that there was a period of very high inflation in the 1970s. This was caused by a series of economic shocks culminated in the oil crisis of 1973. Inflation has also started to rise again recently. There are two main measures of inflation in the UK, the Consumer Price Index and the Retail Price Index. The figures are compiled by the Office for National Statistics. The inflation rate is calculated every month by looking at the changes in prices of goods and services. The prices are looked at in over a hundred different areas across the UK so that regional differences can be taken into account. The items included in the calculations are known as the basket of goods. The basket of goods is designed to reflect everyday typical things that people buy. There are around 700 separate items in the basket, under groups such as food, clothing, furniture and household utilities. The basket of goods is regularly updated to reflect changes in the things we buy. Some things that have recently been taken out are hand hygiene gel, hot rotisserie cooked chicken and bakeware. Some recent additions are air fryer, vinyl music, gluten-free bread and edible sunflower seeds. The CPI and RPI are in effect two different baskets. Amongst the biggest differences is that RPI includes housing costs such as mortgage interest payments and council tax, whereas CPI does not. Although the retail price index is a long-standing measure of inflation, it no longer meets the requirements to be designated a national statistic. Inflation indices are tables of numbers that represent inflation. These can be based off the CPI or the RPI. There is always a base year where the value is 100. The numbers either side of the base year show the relative inflation. In 2016, the index is 120, so the prices were 20% more than in 2015. Another way to say this is that they were 1.2 times more. In 2017, the index shows us that prices were 50% more than in 2015. Or we could say, they were multiplied by 1.5. If we are going from the base year, then the multipliers are easier to see, as we are always starting with 100. However, we can see the inflation between any two years by finding out the multiplier. For example, if we wanted to know how much more expensive goods were in 2017 compared to 2016, we want to know how you get from 120 to 150. We can work this out by performing a division calculation. 150 divided by 120 is 1.25. Sometimes the information is presented to you in a graph. The information is exactly the same, except you have to read off the graph to obtain the value. Let's look at a question together. Part A asks us if a food item cost £3.80 in 2016, how much would we expect to pay for it in 2017? We already know the multiplier between 2016 and 2017, so we use this with price. 3.8 multiplied by 1.25 is 4.75, so the item would have cost £4.75 in 2017. Part B asks us, if an electrical item cost £260 in 2017, how much would it have cost in 2016? This part of the question is a little bit different as we are working backwards. We already have the multiplier, but we just need to perform the opposite operation and divide instead of multiply. 
so 260 divided by 1.25 is 208. The item would have cost 208 pounds and 2016.